Welcome back, and today we have our first in a multi-part series of, uh, well, the Hunt for the Elite series, because this is 1991 Donners. It was the first year of the Elite series, which were super hard to get. The cards themselves, besides that, are not worth much. I mean, the highest dollar card in the set's a buck. So, I bought several boxes of these to try to get one, and we'll see if we have any luck. There's 36 packs per box. And I, I, I wonder if uh, Panini would honor the instant win wrappers. That's obviously a joke. Since these boxes are almost 30 years old. They came with 15 cards a pack. Of course, sometimes you got more. And... That's always a little bonus. We got some, get some good players in here. These cards, this is one of my favorite sets growing up. Of course, got a little dinged corner there, right out of the box. Randy Johnson, Larry Walker, Les Lancaster, Mark Lewis, Bobby Bonilla, who's still getting paid. Rudy Sanez, Greg Olson, Juan Berenger, Leo Gomez, Craig Biggio, Robin Ventura, Steve Bedrosian, Sid Fernandez, Wayne Edwards, and Chuck Finley. This was back when I was really into baseball. I had a lot of these cards as a kid. This is kind of uh, bringing back memories, I guess. Never pulled any lead. I've seen them. I don't own one myself. Like I said, 30 year old wax packs, they're gonna be kind of hard to open. Got Darren Fletcher, Nolan Ryan. That's pretty much the highest dollar card in the set right there. Bill Sampin, Bobby Witt, Robin Yao. Billy Ripken, who had the infamous 89 Fleer card. Google it. Juan Samuel, Gary Carter, the famous checklist. David West, Mike Gallego, Pete Harnish, Mike Hinneman, Bruce Hurst, Robin Ventura, and the puzzle. The puzzle was Willie Stargell. Scott Bradley, Jose Offerman. See, back then they had the rated rookies also like they do now. Greg Catteret, Fernando Valenzuela, Bob Welch All-Star, Greg Litton, Dickie Thon, Roger Clemens, one of my favorite players of all time. Manny Lee, Doug Plesak, Eric Anthony, Jack Howell, Sean Bosky. Ryan Sandberg. There is a chance of pulling a Ryan Sandberg autograph. He is number to 5,000. Greg Olson and Jeff Ballard. Because of the overproduction of these cards back then, like I said, the highest dollar card in the set, besides the Elite, is worth a whole dollar. Don Paul, A.J. Newman, Dave Stewart, Greg Hibbard, Bob Welch, Spike Owen, Charlie Huff. I remember I sent a card to him. I think he played for the Marlins at the time, about a year before he retired, to get an autograph, and he actually sent it back signed. Luis Salazar, Doug Drabeck, Melito Perez, Bob Welch again, Jose Ubre. Ubre, however you say that. There's an infamous story about his 90 Fleer card. Which this one still has the same birthday as the 90 Fleer card. And that was supposedly the error. Robin Yount, Danny Darwin, 
Sergio Valdez, Sooner the Cat, and Carlton Fisk. Sooner the Cat again, he needs to get off the table. Milt Thompson, Mike Heath, Hensley Mullins, Kevin uh, Kelly Gruber, Brett Butler, Gino Petrali, Greg Harris, Craig Biggio again, Diamond Kings. In 1992, the Diamond Kings was actually an insert set. Wade Boggs, Dave Stewart, Greg Briley, Keith Miller, Hal Morris, Dave Vallier, another Diamond Kings, the Rafael Palmero, Chris Sabo, or Sabo, however you say it, Scott Radinsky, and here goes another pack. Even the packs are stuck together. Of course, that's what you get when you have 30 year old or 29 year old wax packs, to be exact. Especially when you try to open them. Sometimes it's tricky. Phil Plantier, Steve Sachs, Todd Zeal, Jim Abbott. You see how he has his glove there. He only had one hand. So whenever he threw a pitch, he would quickly put his, his throwing hand into his glove to field the ball. I always thought that was pretty cool. Not that he had one hand, it's the way he did it. Lido Perez, Ken Canamanitti, Jay Bell, Edgar Martinez, Diamond King, Sean Bosky, Keith Miller, Kevin Mitchell, Mark Grace, Sandy Alomar, Junior Felix, Greg Harris, Steve Avery, and Mike Fitzgerald. pack we got Kevin Brown I remember he was the hot rookie Dave Steeb RJ Reynolds Scott Radinsky Eric Yelding Rick Aguilera Wade Boggs Ryan Sandberg highlights Tom Gordon Gino Petrali again John Dobson Brett Saberhagen Lloyd Mosley Bruce Hurst Robin Ventura again looks like the same pack and Dick Schofield Dwight Evans, Kyle Ripken Jr., Pete Harnish, Steve Bouchel, his son plays college football for SMU, I believe, Ron Robinson, Sammy Sosa's second year card, Steve Finley, Dave Magadan, Fred McGriff, Louis Polonia, John Franco, Willie Randolph, Mike Sosha, Henry Cotto, and Ellis Burks. Got Carney Lansford, Willie, Bell, Willie Blair, Trevor Wilson, Kenny Rogers, Gary Templeton, Mitch Comstock, Ozzy Smith, a lot of Hall of Famers in this set. Greg Catteret, Jay Bell, Bruce Hurst, Ken Griffey Jr., Todd Zeal, Tim Leary, David Ackerfields, and Dan Plesak again.
Yeah, my one of my favorite players too, Mark McGuire. Highlights card. I'll set that one aside. Bob Twixberry, Mike Henneman, Todd Zeal, Tim Leary, Mike Le Le Valerie, Scott Scudder, Juan Samuel, Lee Smith, Scott Fletcher, Randy Myers, Cecil Fielder. I remember when he came back from Japan and hit 51 home runs. Nolan Ryan, there's the highest dollar card in the set I was talking about. Scott Garretts, Keith Comstock again, and Ricky Henderson. And we got Ray Langford, rookie, Stan Javier, and upside down cards, Gerald Clark, Greg Jeffries, Eric Davis, Jeff Russell, Sandy Alomar again, Rob Dibble, Melito Perez again, Jose Oquindo, John Marano, uh, Marzano, Cecil Fielder highlights, Greg Seltzer, Jeff Houston, Rob Murphy, Start going through these a little faster. Mark Gubska and Juan Gonzalez. Second year card. We'll start going through them a little faster here. Just looking for more we're looking for. Mark Portugal. Avery Getty. Mike Witt. Craig James. No Girardi. Greg Jeffries. Chris Sabo, Chris Bazio, Billy Ripken, Henry Cotto, Alex Burks, Checklist, and John Crock. I'm starting to get a tall stack there. Stewart again, Don Mattingly. Danny Darwin. Greg Hibbert, Chris Sabo, Duan White, Mike Morgan, Dante Bichette, his son plays in the big leagues now. I definitely got many boxes I bought. I bought a case of these. Got a pretty good deal on it. I ought to get a complete set or a complete series one set anyway. Fernandez, Sandy Alomar. Roger Clements, regular card. Kevin Phil Plantier, rookie, Dave Johnson, Jeff Houston, Edgar Diaz, Yvonne Calderon, Terry Kennedy, John Franco, Don Paul again, Chuck Finley. I think the last one had a little mark on it too. Scott Beadley, Jose Offerman, Edgar Martinez, and those guys.
Steve Farr, Dick Schofield, Dave Stewart, Oscar something, Lenny Harris, Jeff Treadway, Bob Patterson, Delano DeShields, Greg Harris, Bob Boone, Glenn Braggs, Charlie Huff again, and Carlton Fisk. Always liked him growing up. Okay. Another checklist, Kevin Belcher, Chuck Finley. That one does not have the little thing on it. King Griffey Jr. All-Star, Tony Gwynn. Good thing about these these is they always put the puzzle piece on the back. Greg Maddox, Ron Karkovash, Ryan Smith, Dave Bergman, Luis Rivera, Randall Valenzuela, Steve Avery. And their Nolan Ryan highlights. We have a stack of rappers. <laughs> Bobby Witt, Brett Saberhagen, Old Can Boyd. And this pack is stubborn open. Willie Randolph, Mike Sosha, Pat Combs, Moises Alou, Ron Gant, Storm Davis, Jim Abbott, George Brett, Derek Bell, Cecil Fielder again, Todd Zeal, Lance Parrish, Dave Magadan, Fred McGriff, I wonder if anyone actually won the, uh, got the grand prize wrapper. Because there's still a lot of cases out there of these. Start putting these back in the box here. Okay. All right, we got Dwight Gooden, Tony Lansford, Mark Sharperson, Harold Reynolds, the checklist.
Dave Martinez, Tony Gwynn, Hector Villanueva, Scott Bankhead, Mark Grant, Kenny Rogers, Brian Harper again, Greg Maddox again, Ron Karkovice, Brian Smith, and Dave Bergman. This that way, be I don't have an hour video per box. I'm gonna try to do two boxes per video. I guess it's the thrill of the hunt. No matter if I get anything or not, it's just, it's fun to me. Mark McGuire. Greg Olson. Diamond Kings. Bo Jackson. That's a pretty cool card there. Sammy Sosa's second year card again. I always like to feel of these old cards too. No gloss, it's just you get what you got. Sooner get out. Typical cat, always interested. Get down, buddy. Get down. Get down. Thank you. said you could some people took like metal detectors and stuff like that to find the elite series cards and I, I, just, I don't I just, I personally I don't think it's right 
like card shops to do that. And same way with the Lombardi hologram and 90 Pro Set. To me, it kind of spoils everything. Pedro Guerrero, Diamond King, I haven't seen that one yet. Lenny Dykstra, Nails, makes some infamous appearances on the Howard Stern Show. Trevor Wilson, mm -hmm. get up a trolley. Time to speed up a little bit going through these, even though I do like looking at the cards. But I got 19 more boxes. So it'll be plenty to look at. And the last bo pack of box number one. All right, there's box number one down. Let's start on. Box number two of this video. I said I'm gonna try to do two boxes of video. Sometimes I might just do one, whatever. That box of history. I'll put the pulls right here if you want to call them that. Move this one. Oops. Move this one to the side. And open up box number two. Maybe we'll get lucky on box two. Stack number one out of here. Oh, I guess I don't want to do that on camera as I look at the cards. Click together. There we go. King Griffey Jr. was stuck to Fernando Valenzuela. Jim Calvin Jr., Willie Randolph.
These packs don't seem to be as hard to open. Of course, I shouldn't have said that. Jose Canseco. Well, get bored one day and put the puzzle together. I think I did it when I was a kid. These are a lot easier to open so far than that first box. Like I said, this is bringing back some memories of collecting, going to the card shops with my dad. And of course, I have been collecting for 30 years at least. So for some reason, it's bringing Made me think of like watching baseball tonight and when ESPN, when, when, I, when it was at its best, in my opinion. We had Chris Berman, Dan Patrick. Keith Olderman was actually cool back then. I'm really dating myself here. I don't know, maybe I'll build, start building card houses or something with all the extras. Joke. Now is when the video gets really boring because you don't realize you don't have enough to talk about. I think my favorite player back then was, uh, he was a Texas Ranger. His name, or number 29, was Pete Incovey. He played for the Rangers, Astros. Orioles, Tigers. I it broke my heart when he got when he got traded or released, and he signed with the Tigers. He'll be in his Rangers uniform if we see him in here. having a great day I was doing all right then uh I drive a truck for a living and I was well they didn't have my trailer on and I I slung a rock through my back window with my truck it's not mine but the one I drive I tell you that'll wake you up I think 87 Donis was his rookie, if I remember correctly. 
And these are some uh, stack of wrappers. So as I have the camera in a bad spot. Oh well. You also might have saw a glimpse of a Turbo Graphics 16, which retro game videos will be, and gaming videos will be coming soon. I just got to break down and buy a $15 webcam. Might be that tomorrow. Alberto Alamar. Did he throw a firecracker at somebody? Wasn't that him? I don't know, I might be wrong. Oh, it's a Diamond Kings checklist. Wow. Impressive. That made the case worth it. A lot of rookies that went pretty much nowhere in this set. I mean, they had careers in the majors, but there was no stars, superstars like there was. Well, if you call Juan Gonzalez a superstar, I kind of, I think he was pretty big. And then he had Griffey the year before that in 89. 91 was kind of a dead year, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and feel free to hit that like and subscribe button for 45 to an hour long videos of me open, opening junk wax and playing video games and even talking to comic books and wrestling. I'm a big pro wrestling fan. I'm actually training to be a pro wrestler. Started a little bit late, but better late than never. Favorite wrestler of all time, in case anyone's wondering, is The Undertaker. The photography is pretty good on these cards, too, for being Donruss. You know, Upper Deck and Stadium Club are known for that, but. I think they did pretty good. I've always loved the Diamond King cards, though, especially the 92 ones and up. Because they actually made them... It's kind of sort of like getting an insert, but they actually made them an official insert. And 92. And stack number two of two. I, was, I usually try to go one... One, three, two, four, for some reason, but I didn't in the first box. Maybe that was why we had bad luck. Who knows? Scoot these over here. It's getting a little crowded here. And I keep hitting the camera. Which is my iPhone. I'm sure you'll figure that out. Whoever watches my videos, anyway. The old, I've seen all the old school uniforms on here and I don't know, this is just a trip back through time, I guess. Time traveling with the big cat, which is me. And sooner the cat occasionally when he invades the screen. Julio Franco, that's another one of my all time favorite. I always liked how he batted, he held the bat straight over his head and pretty much pointed the barrel of the bat at the pitcher. I always thought that was cool. He's a good hitter, too. A 
think that was the first Julio Franco we got, so he may be a little short print. Not that it means anything, but I still like having the card. I think I was reading the, the Donner's company started back in the 60s. They made a, uh, I think it was a stock car set or something for a hot rod magazine or something. I don't know. That's what I was reading about last night. I'm probably wrong. I probably forgot. And they were bought, I think they were bought out, I think it was 2008 by Panini. And they actually lost their license to do the uh, MLB cards. They had it back then, that's why the logo is wrong, but if you look at today's Donruss, and they don't have the team logos on their players or on the cards. Only Topps has that uh, license. something outside. Mike Sosha stuck to him, Nolan Ryan. I remember I sent a card also to Nolan Ryan about the same time I sent one to Charlie Huff. And Nolan Ryan sent me a five by seven picture back signed. He kept my card. But I got an autograph, Nolan Ryan picture, so that, I am not complaining. One of the days I'll have to dig all my stuff out of my boxes and show you guys. My audience of millions and the millions of the Big Cats fans. I think they're in 89, Don Russ through the uh, one of the Diamond Kings was Pete Incavillo, Inky. I mentioned him a while ago. I think he might be in Series 2 of these. I guess I may be wrong. I might have to get me some Series 2. Maybe if I can find a case of those, so I have about 5,000 sets of these. Some other interesting videos that I'm going to have along with doing the Hunt for the Elite series is I've got some 9091 90, Skybox coming in. I got some 90 Upper Deck Baseball coming in. That's going to be fun to open. I always love that set. And I got some 90 Donruss coming in. And I think that's about it. I might get a, some Leaf Ultimate Draft this year. I know the pre-order's on right now, and while the price is low, strike, because those things are limited and they shoot up fast. And we're three-fourths of the way through this box, after this pack. If there's any requests to do on videos, on box breaks, comic books, video games, feel free to comment and I'll see what, and I'll do the best that I can on that. We got nine more packs and this video is over. First, we got 18 more boxes to go through, at least. Depends on if I get the elites in it and elite out of this case or not. I know I'm saying, yeah, it'd probably be cheaper to buy them, which it is, but it's no fun in that. 
I mean, it'd be the, 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 called the thrill of the chase. I remember Mitch Williams, he gave the home run. I believe it was a 93 World Series. Game six, Joe Carter, right over Pete Incavilla's head and broke my heart as a kid. I got my heart broken a lot, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I remember watching that because I wanted Pete Incavilla and John Crook to get the World Series. And that was the only time that I believe that Inky made it. I don't know about John Crook. I always liked those two guys. It was right before the, pretty much at the beginning of the steroid era, which I had no problem with the steroids. Because myself, I know this might be an unpopular opinion. I'd rather see it, I mean, as long as they're healthy, let me say it that way. I'd rather see a guy hit a 500 foot home run than a 50 foot, 50 foot ground up. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. There could be a way that they could have done it. Ryan Sandberg, I remember me and my dad, we went to a card shop and had the auction board. I don't know if the card shops still do this or not because I haven't been to one in a while. Uh, except for the, I guess I did go the other day. I bought two packs of Prism basketball helping for Zion. and Of course, I didn't get him. Uh, anyway, you could go write your bid on, a, on the board and someone could come out and bid you, but then it ended at a certain time. I guess that was kind of the original form of eBay. And there was, I think it was at 80, was it 83 tops that had the Sandberg rookies? I think it was. And long story short, my, there was this guy who always bid on the packs. And he, he tried to win every one of them. And the one time he didn't do it, my dad put a bid on the uh, 83 tops pack. It was one pack. That's when the Sandberg rookie was way up there. It was in there. I think the guy stormed out of the card store. I remember I won an auction like that on a pack. I think it was 90 action pack or 91. The one that had the, the Emmett Smith rookies in it. There was gold and the player was like textured or puffed out. I missed you know, the action pack cards. I may look into doing some of those because you could actually pull the 24 karat gold cards out of that. Uh, Leo Franco again. Barry Bonds. Carlton, I remember when he got his eye injury at the end of his career. Carlton Fisk. It wasn't too long after 91, if I remember. I used to watch a lot of baseball. I need to start watching it again. And we're down to our last pack. A little bit of mojo here. Hopefully elite. Well, like I said, we got 18 more boxes. But we're not doing all those today. Derek May, Mike Heath, Lenny Harris. I can already tell you there's not an elite series because you could tell. And I'm gonna pull this Cecil Fielder out. I do believe it's because of his thing. He hit 51 home runs. Yeah, it says it right there, 50 homer club. On the, on the back of the highlights card, see it's the bonus card. And got the shakes there. And it tells about him, how he, and he also tells back then the list was short. Babe Ruth, Hack Wilson, Jimmy Fox, Hank Greenberg, Johnny Mize, Ralph Connor, Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, and Foster. George Foster. And that was the first since 1977 to hit 50, and this was 91. 
nowadays you have two or three guys hitting it at least a year. All right, well, no luck there on the elites. We had a little fun opening them and talking about old cards and what we're going to do next. Uh, I'll be back with another video probably tomorrow or the next day whenever I feel like opening more. Anyways, thanks for joining in. Hit that like and subscribe button. And God bless. Have an, have an awesome day.